don't know if this is just a me thing, but Flame Swordsman is genuinely one of the coolest looking monsters in any card game of all time ever. And now with this new support, he might just be making a move for number one in the meta. And that's all possible thanks to decks like this. This is a combination between Infernobles and the new Flame Swordsman support that results in a surprisingly consistent and good deck. And don't even get me started on Ultimate Flame Swordsman. This guy is just an Oko machine. Easily gets up to 8,000 attack points. But honestly, I think it's better to show it than to talk about it. So let's get right into the ranked duels. Making me go first? What is this? If you're gonna make me go first, I gotta deliver. Mmm, we didn't get all of the cards we want to see. We did get Heritage of the Chalice, though, so we can activate this. This is this is like the world's best going second hand of all time, and we're going first. What can I do? What is the play going first? I don't think there is a play going first. I just I don't even think there is one. Like I could just get, I could just get I could just get Museum for next time. I think we genuinely just get Museum, and then that's it. I guess I could also Swords Realm, but it won't really matter. Swords Realming away Ash Blossom is not really going to do much. All right. <sighs> Let me just see what I can do. Let me see what I can do. Because this this was uh, this was horrible. Oh, my God. Hey, did you just draw cards? Want to play into Maxi? Now, the real tough part about this is while he is playing into Maxi, I'm going to Ash Blossom that. <laughs> this is my my going second hand, dude. This is my going second hand. Except now I gotta go third. I do kind of want you to play a monster. Just don't Oko me. Ah, dang it. He's going plus off the discard, bro. How could I have ever seen that coming? All right, he's only playing Red Dragon Archfiend, guys. Surely that can't Oko me, right? The first monster has hit the field in the form of Soul Resonator. One level four or lower monster to the hand. I mean, he does technically have a monster now. Okay, so he added this. Let's just, let's just, honestly, let's just, let's just ruin his day. Let's ruin his day. I know we got him playing under Max C, but if he added this to, to normal summon it, I mean, how much can he cook after that? Because we've got Durin to, oh. What's the matter? Couldn't play through Max C, Ash Blossom, and Imperm, huh? <laughs> well, just a sign of the times, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, please. All right, let's see what we can do here. Maybe if I get Swordsman. Okay, Heritage with the Chalice kind of actually works in my favor here. I'm going to play Swords Realm, first of all. And then I'm going to thin out my deck again, bro. I'm tired of running into these. Okay. It's, it's cooking time. It is actually cooking time. We have the combo now. It took us another turn, but we have it. With Durandal, we're going to search out Fighting Flame Swordsman. Fighting Flame Swordsman. I mean, I guess we check just in case, right? Because this one's less important, but let's see. Fighting Flame Swordsman on the search is going to get grab a Salamandra Fusion. Maybe could have even just gone for the, the sword, honestly, for the negate. But it doesn't look like he has Ash. It doesn't look like he has anything, honestly. So now we can get real crispy. This is the full combo. We did it. Holy. All right, Renault, face up attack because we we can actually attack. We're not going first. This is third. Durandal back in the hand. Important for later. I'll bring it up later when we get there. Don't worry. But with these two monsters combined, we can summon the full force of the Princess of Noble Arms. Princess of Noble Arms, fighting flame swordsman in the grave. Graveyard, big step because now Salamandra is going to join him. And Salamandra, he's got, a, let's just say he's got a thing for the princess, all right? Also, we get a second museum. So that's how you know we're doing good. Salamandra in the graveyard does get us another card. Salamandra with chain, which is a great card. Salamandra with chain. All right, Salamandra tries to get to the princess. Princess says, nah, I don't, I'm not really feeling too good about that. And Ogier is going to pay the price. Very important we send Ogier. Ogier hits the graveyard. Princess skedaddles. And Roland hits the board, baby. Roland on top. So the only thing I'm worried about right now is Nib. We do have monsters to deal with Nib. Sadly, uh, I, I mean, I'm not... I mean, I guess I could set it up right now. Hopefully we get through here. If we don't, then this is going to be pretty bad. All right, so Museum Second Effect is going to allow us to slide Ogier up onto the board as a monster. And then this effect is what's going to let us send our gear freed to the graveyard. That's our monster to deal with Nib if we get there. We'll see if we do right now. No Nib yet, so they might be holding it. If they're holding it, they're about to be too late. Charles on the board. Almace in the graveyard gets us our thing back. 
Uh, no, we don't want to use that yet, but we will in a second. Gear Freed's going to hit the board now. Almace gets banished. Don't worry. We can get that back if we really want to. Gear Freed on deck. Yeah, we'll do this. Roland in the graveyard equips to our Charles. Charles, hey, look, I can destroy a card on the board. You know what card I want to discard? That one that's scaring me. What's that? Red Rain? Oh, you're so cooked, brother. You're so cooked because Charles just became the great Charles. Ugh. Emperor Charles the Great. Where my, where my junior at? We're Charles normal. Look at this. Look at look at what we've cooked up here. This is a devastating board. Hold the flame swordsman. All right. This is this is what the engine looks like when you're just when you're just going at it. And I think this is probably just death. I mean, I could equip, but that would lower so much of the damage here. This is three thousand, four thousand. Oh wait, this is actually just lethal. I could also give Sal. I do I, do I want to do Salamander Fusion? We'll give Salamander Fusion to, to the great just in case he goes down here. Just in case. I mean, it really is. This is precautionary tale, but we're going to gear freed. We're not going to use the effect of Flame Swords Realm. We also won't use the effect of uh, gear freed. That's because we're just going to kill this thing. I did not read if it had a graveyard effect. It didn't. So now we have lethal because Flame Swords Realm is going to soak a thousand from gear freed. And that pumps us up to five, seven hundred. Thank you very much. And we're out of that duel. We got to show the line off. This deck is so much fun. Now, I would have wanted to do that without going third, but I mean, can we win the coin toss? Oh, great, dude. I cannot win a coin toss. What if he likes to go second, though? What if he likes to go second? Maybe lets us set up our board. Oh, so you like to go second. We're looking for two specific cards here, two specific cards. And we did not get the two we were looking for, honestly. That is a that is a big shame. We pretty much, we wanna see Fighting Flame Swordsman, but then we also wanna see a way to get to Renault. And right now we simply do not have that. So I'm just gonna use the Fighting Flame Sword to add another card. To be honest, I might even just add this. I might just add Swords Realm. We might be just doing, are we gonna go Flame, <laughs> flame Swordsman alone POV? Okay, Swords Realm, we've got another fighting flame sword swords round dude this is so bad we we opened up with like so many pieces of flame swordsman <laughs> select the card to send to the graveyard we're gonna go with our fighting flame swordsman to summon out the og himself flame swordsman and once fighting flame swordsman does go to the graveyard we do get the additional effect of sending another card to the graveyard and we're pretty much always sending salamandra there except if he's in our hand then we're gonna we're gonna mix that up great trap card by the way salamandra with chain okay and to be honest uh, we really have no other options, so we're literally just gonna go all the way to Ultimate Flame Swordsman. By attaching Salamandra Fusion to our Fusion Flame Swordsman, we can send them both away for the Ultimate Flame Swordsman. God, this card is cool. Not really the best card to just solo dolo it up, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Our chances of winning are pretty low right now, but if we can believe we can succeed. Salamandra will attach from the graveyard. Beautiful. He activated no cards. He could smell my triple tactics talent. He didn't want me to be happy, but that's fine. That's totally fine. We've got Max C. Max C alone might be enough to win this duel. I'll even, you know what? I'm even going to set my fighting flame sword. You know, a little, a little, a little something. You know, look at it. Look at the boy. A little something. You know, a little protection on the side. Ooh, did you just draw cards? Tough. Maxi. I shotgun that every time. It looks like you're playing under Maxi, buddy. Enjoy your turn. What the hell is this? Overload. You can activate one of these effects. Okay. I don't think that affects me right now. Ah, oh, what is this? Send two Cyber Dragon. Bro is literally trying to win by going second. I knew this was a Cyber Dragon player. I could tell by your stupid mascot. Cyber Dragon players always like going second, huh? Just, just always want to try to cheese out of victory, but he doesn't know we got the Salamandra with Jane. Okay, there's Cyber Dragon Core. We do have one monster pop as a quick effect thanks to Ultimate Flame Swordsman with the equip of Salamandra, which is pretty good against this deck, I will say. I don't know what we're supposed to pop, though. Far be it for me. Oh, what is this? Mm, okay, just more searching. Hey, do you, man. Do you. I, I really can't do nothing about it. There's his Cyber Dragon. He's got one whole Cyber Dragon, folks. Who's afraid? Maxi just popped off. Appreciate that. Okay, which one do we want to pop? What does this allow him to do? Okay, so we don't really want to pop anything just yet, honestly. Okay, here it goes. He's fusing. This would have been from the graveyard anyway, so popping would have done nothing. And there's the Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. Does this have protection? Did he just get my Fighting Flame Swords? I hope he goes after Salamandra with Chain. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Salamandra with Chain will activate, allowing me to attach to my Flame Swordsman. I'm not going to activate Flame Swordsman effect because once Salamandra with Chain activates, I can change the position of a monster, flipping him face down. A little Book of Moon effect. Now, we will lose everything after that, though. 
sadly. But he's face down. I don't really see, uh, I don't see the fight coming from him anymore. Ooh. Okay, so now he gets the fuse from, what, his graveyard? I, I didn't read. The hell was that? Cyber Twin Dragon? What in the lame GX card is this? Brother, what are you gonna do with that? What do you have from your graveyard? Wait, what, hold on. What boss monster can he summon am I, am, that I'm supposed to be afraid of? Two, you're literally summoning Cyber Twin Dragon? Brother, is this 2010? Oh my gosh. Hey, leave my spells alone, man. All right, now you're gonna make me swing on you, dog. Now you made me swing on you. Ultimate Flame Swordsman, pop this guy from the field. And then I lose everything. So now I'm, I'm actually scared now. Now it's worrisome. Oh, but it looks like his time is... Don't do this. <laughs> how did how does bro still have playable cards stop what is this what the hell is cyber dark cannon let me read oh my god brother is still searching to this day he's combing through this deck with a fine tooth comb and now he gets the normal summon great great and now he gets to equip a level one through three and gain the attack what is that is that just okay so he's a thousand eight hundred Oh, 2,400. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking in my boots. Wow, you got me trembling in my goddamn boots right now, dude. Draw. Ash Blossom, thanks for coming by, by the way. <laughs> Definitely didn't need you last turn. Ah, oh, funny, funny stuff, dude. Funny, funny stuff. Anyway, Salamandra is going to reattach. Honestly, this is a this is just an ultimate flame swords kind of day. Hold on. Can I, get, can I get a little freaky with it? Well, I really don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll pop... I'm gonna pop you since you can stop me from doing anything. And then I guess I'll just attack. This is gonna be a bit of a longer duel here than I was expecting. You, you own Mirror Force? You, uh, you actually use Mirror Force. Wait, I need to check the defense of this card. <laughs> oh, 1600. He thought he was gonna get away with that. Salamandra with chain activates in the graveyard. I'm bringing out the dragon himself, the fighting flame dragon. Where did you think you were running? You thought you was gonna get away from me? A true swordsman always lets his dogs out, you know? I, I don't like the way that sounded, actually. To be honest, this is a horrible duel. An actual downright travesty of a duel. Just just the worst goddamn duel I've ever seen in my life. Can you activate anything to Maxi? E? Should I have waited for this? Just in case he could play. I have monsters. I feel like we should... What a crazy... Oh, what is that, Mirror Force 2? Storming Mirror Force? Do I allow that to happen? I, I guess no, right? Like, we just don't want that to happen. Does it negate for the turn? Or does it just negate for the one time? I'm gonna be sick if he... Oh, thank God. Oh, dude. Dude. This is the dumbest duel of all time. This is so stupid. Nice try. Ash Blossom. <laughs> he is, he's got to be flummoxed right now. Oh, an 1800 beat stick. That is actually some serious firepower. All right. Um, if we could draw one of our many searcher cards, that would be very much appreciated. Just, just one. Okay. Thank you. Holy, a searching card. Ladies and gentlemen, we actually drew what I asked for. Who would have thought I was literally a 10? Give me that. Okay, now what card would be the best to add to my hand? Can I cheat? <laughs> you mind if I cheat? <laughs> you mind if I add Noble Arms Museum and activate Noble Arms Museum? And then use Noble Arms Museum to <laughs> go ahead and add Durandal, the blade of my army? Yeah, give me that. Now you might be wondering, who am I going to equip this to? You're a monster, bro. Why would I, why would I not? It's only here for a short time. Now... We could maybe do something genius, but I think we just get stupid with it, right? I think we just get Flame Swordsman out, beat this guy over the head. We, we've we already committed to this being a Flame Swordsman only duel. And I'm saying that like I had any choice in the goddamn matter. But here I go playing Flame Swordsman again. Nice little 2300 beat stick. How you beating that? Sakuretsu armor. Did you just target me? I'm sorry, but did you just target me, dog? No. I'm cutting your monster in half. Look at the card art. Zoom in. Bink. Got him. Oh, this guy's playing Sakuretsu Armor in 2024. <laughs> this guy is actually the, the cheapest guy of all time. Now, I have no way to stop whatever's about to happen to me. Whatever this guy's been trying to summon for the last three turns is about to unleash havoc on me. But I still believe in the Fighting Flame Swordsman. Here we go. Three monsters from his graveyard. How will we deal with this incoming threat? We just have to hope there's a way. Hey, I noticed you had to equip a monster with your effect. What if I said no? <laughs> Tell me the duel's over. Tell me that duel's over, buddy. I know you want to say goodbye. I know you want to say goodbye. Go ahead, hit that surrender for me. Oh, brother. 
Don't do this. I don't even know what you're going to do. Okay. So do I... Oh, Heritage of the Chalice again! I can't stop winning! Now, the thing is, do I want to just, like, be funny? I want to win, right? Let's win. <laughs> I don't I don't know if being funny is worth it. Let's just get out of here, dude. Like, I'm so tired of, of losing. Hey, let's get Renault out here. Renault is going to allow us to recycle... Wow. I know I said I didn't want to be funny, but... All right, no, no, no. Let's, let's just be classic. Let's be classy here, folks. Wow, we can, we can really get going now if we want to. The question is, do I want to? And the answer is yes. So Renault and Fighting Flame Swordsman will make Princess. Princess, go... I should have put you in attack mode. There was no reason for you to be in defense. Damn it. All right, well, Princess, go ahead. Use your effect for me. Fighting Flame Swordsman in the graveyard. I don't even know what I'm sending anymore, to be honest. Oh, you're in my deck? How the hell did you get... Were you always in there? Well, it's a good thing we got that then, because I almost lost this duel if you weren't. All right, and then from the graveyard, Salamandra will try to attach to the princess, but the princess is not feeling that. So, boom, we get to send Ogier to the graveyard. Thank you very much. Oh, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to think that this is getting a little crazy here. Can you feel the heat? Can you feel the heat? Now we use the effect of Noble Arms Museum to first. I mean, we'll add a... Let's add the All Mage. Why not? We're, we're, we're getting a little spicy here. Then Museum will allow us to slide Ogier up into being a monster again. Ogier will allow us to send a monster to the graveyard. We're going to go ahead and send our Gear Freed, uh, best monster in the game. Then we'll equip Al Mage to our Roland, just because we're getting a little feisty again. I'll keep saying that so you keep knowing it link these two away it's been a little while but here comes charles charles now that al mace is uh is that al major al mace okay al mace now that al mace is in the graveyard we're adding back gear freed we're adding back gear freed to the hand it's over there's no real reason to summon this now so roland comes out equips to charles we we already know this song and dance we pretty much know this song and dance oh we can destroy one card on the field well i wouldn't mind if i do actually you're not living past this turn anyway buddy i'll be honest it it really didn't matter what i destroyed because now that Emperor Charles has used his effect, it's time for Emperor Charles the Great. Ah, the best in the game. Let me go ahead and get part-time Charles out here, too. Don't even ask me the lore, because I don't know it. Let's get gear freed out here. I'm banning Salamandra Fusion from the graveyard to just get a big 3,500. To be honest, I could also just Durandal. Have I used my normal summon? Have I even normal summoned on the haters yet, to be honest? I don't think I have. Have I? There's no way I have, right? Come on now. I knew I didn't. I knew I didn't. Look at look at me just hating. By the way, I could activate Noble Arms Museum again if I wanted to, but I'm, I'm done messing around. We'll use Gear Free to attack. Gear Free's effect will activate, and then he'll ask if he can cancel himself. We say no, and we're going to equip his equipped fusion monster. We're just going to enjoy that, and would you look at that? It's looking like the duel's pretty much almost over here, buddy. It's looking like the duel's pretty much over here. I probably should have just uh, taken the fusion, huh? Well, I'm not really too worried about it. I'm not too pressed. And then Princess comes back. Welcome back, Princess. Oh, hey, did I just equip an equip spell? Oh, brother, this guy's still playing the game like he has a choice. I'm sorry. Oh, this could be the this could be the biggest bait in the world. This could be the craziest bait in the whole world. But I, I'm gonna fall for it. I'm gonna fall for it. Go ahead. And now that I've thrown him to the graveyard, let me go ahead and get my draw one. Get Durandal back out here. Get Renault back out here. Don't mind me. I'm just going plus on your turn. Don't mind me at all. Oh, would you look at this? Ah. Oh. Actually, hold on. Can I still can I still cook? Well, I might be stupid. Maybe I could have cooked this whole time. Roland hops out of the graveyard. We get to destroy a card. You're gone. <laughs> I was just fibbing. You know me. You know I like to play tricks. You know I like to play tricks. Go ahead. Hit that concede button. Actually, just just let me cut you down. I'll make it quick. He's stunned. Oh, he closed the app, bro. He just he just said, nah, I'm good. I can't do it anymore. I can't play Cyber Dragon. And there it is, a brutal victory in the slowest duel of all time and with no combos, just absolute zero combos. Starting hand, you know, it's looking like we missed, right? Okay, so it's looking like we missed. And to be honest, well, actually, we have triple tactics talent, so we could be okay. But we actually have two of the cards to search what we need anyway. I'll start with Fighting Flame Sword because I feel like he's less likely to hit that. Oh, we might get dinged already. Are we going to get dinged? Maxi is a bad one to run into. Holy, that is going to stop us. Or, I mean, it basically only stops us if we let it stop us. But I, I think we should let it stop us, to be honest. <laughs> Heritage of the Chalice. 
Heritage of the Chalice is our searcher for pretty much all things for the infer. Oh, okay, so he does. He's gonna ash that. He had Ash Blossom too. So now I'm feeling a little better about just kind of letting this play out without going super in depth. But do we hold on. Do we get a little crazy? I could look at his hand and shuffle. Is that good? Or should I just draw two cards? I feel like drawing two would normally be fine. I'm up against a really, uh, like, a, a maxi. Like, maxi is what's making me think, like, why draw two cards, right? It's not like I have good back row that I could draw into. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, come on, man, let me play. Let me play. We're going second. Well, um, I guess that's fine. As long as we start with Maxi and Ash Blossom, that is. Ooh, you know what? I will take the Maxi, though. I will take the Maxi. All right, completely. I, I Usually, I just shotgun on draw phase. I'm not going to lie. But this time, I'm going to be patient. I'm just going to be a patient duelist. Uh, I'm not patient anymore. Maxi, game over. Stop your turn right this second. Don't do it. Ah, uh, that's fine. You know what? If they had it, they were always going to play it. They were good at the game. They drew cross out designator. They deserved it. They deserved it. Well, we've got through their cross out designator. Now they pretty much just get a free turn. What are we playing here, fellas? Okay, that was, I don't know why I looked at that like that wasn't going to be maxi. It's been so long. Look at this new background. They got like billboards up here. That's crazy. Oh, Phantom Knights. I ain't gonna lie. We can be Phantom Knights. Oh my God. He's flooding the field with Phantom Knights. He's good. He knows everything about the Phantom Knights. Sorry, it's been a while since I recorded a Yu-Gi-Oh video, so I'm gonna do all my favorite bits like 70 times. Ah, he's good. He knows everything about Cherubini, Ebon of the Burning Angel Abyss. I fucked that up. One level three monster from the day. Bro, let me read, bro. Okay, now we're getting into some stuff that I don't remember, bro. Burning Abyss, I don't remember this. Stop. Please, I don't remember. Oh, brother, this guy links. That's another classic. Hey, we're back to Phantom Knights. I know these guys. Okay, so they have one effect negation in their back uh, backfield. What are the other spells and traps of the Phantom Knights? I forget. I mean, I guess you could get another one, right? Or can he? Can he not? Okay, two effect negations. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, never mind, never mind. Special summoning a monster from the graveyard that'll get banished when it leaves. That's fine. Now go into a rank three or something. Okay, Levier the Sea Dragon. Okay. Now would have been a great time to be playing Nibiru. Uh, 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 an actual fantastic time to be playing Nibiru. Xyz Armor Fortress. What does this guy do? Add something to your hand. I'm not getting just like O code, am I? Oh man, this is looking cheesier by the second. Oh, it's looking cheesier by the second. No, dude. Oh, it's looking cheesy. I don't even know who this is. Oh, it, it turns over with only one back row that negates my effect. What the heck? What? What is this deck? I don't even know what's happening. It, was this? This was Labyrinth the whole time? Was that the? Was this the plot twist? Oh, what the? This was Labyrinth the whole time. Well, how are we gonna get out? Of oh, hey, Ash Blossom, where were you my first turn? Of course, I, as soon as I click record, my Ash Blossoms want to act up. I think, okay, first things first, we have the two main cards you want to see. I'm gonna hit him with the Rota first, though, just to see if he has an Ash Blossom. Because we, we do kind of, oh. <laughs> Say you swear. Say you swear. Well, actually, now I don't know what to grab. Because if I do this, then I can get Durandal, and then I can get Renault anyway. So maybe I just get Fire Flint Lady. Why not? Let Oh, horrible misclick! That was a horrible misclick! How do you misclick in a card game? It's fine. Let's just pretend. It's not even like it really even matters. Let's use the effect of fi Fighting Flame Swordsman. Greatest card in the game. Let's see if we can outplay this guy. We do have an effect in the game. Mm, see, we don't even really care about that. All right. We honestly don't even care. Fighting Flame Swordsman successfully baited out a trap card. That's fine. In my head, we're clashing blades. The Phantom Blade versus the Flaming Blade. All right, now we cook. Now we actually cook. Noble Arms Museum, does he have an out for this? This would actually suck. <sighs> oh, wait. Bam! That's why Ash Blossom showed up late to the party, by the way. Did I forget you can Ash Blossom that? Absolutely, I did. But am I going to act like I'm not the greatest duelist of all time? No, I'm not. Well, hope you enjoyed playing. Noble Arms Museum. We're going to use this to search out Durandal. Boom. Greatest card in the game, by the way. What does Durandal do? Allow me to show you. We're going to equip another sword to our Fighting Flame Swordsman. Any response? Didn't think so. Any response? Ah. Oh, what is it? What? Hold on. Oh, attach one monster. Okay, so we just, we just lost the duel there, pretty much. Unless... 
Let me see if I can pull something out here. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull something out. Select the card to send to the graveyard. It's not looking very good, is it? Okay, let's send Fighting Flame Swordsman just to get his effect off in the graveyard. We're kind of, we're floundering right now. We're floundering. Maybe I can bore my opponent to death. That might be my only way to win this duel. Yes! Oh my goodness, yes! The boredom strategy strikes again! The boredom strategy strikes again. Why don't you go ahead and admit you're the worst duelist of all time? All right, another duel going second. We have the cards. We definitely have the cards, but maybe not for going second. We have no interruptions. Everybody just sit back. I think we're going to let the blue eyes player do his thing. This, is, this guy is not playing blue eyes. Who, who, who cut your hair, my guy? Oh, no. What a travesty. Damn. Bro walked into the shop and asked if he could get that, <laughs> that whipped cream. Oh my God, bro. Everybody is, this guy asked for the paintbrush. They just summoned somebody. Oh my God. This is going to be the longest turn of all time. <laughs> Later. I'm going to be honest. I've never made an effort to understand pendulum decks. I, I have zero idea what's going on. I'm so happy that Konami realized that this was just a failed idea and nerfed it to all kingdom come. They just destroyed it. And bro, look at these. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use, even, even if you beat me, bro, and I can't play, I'm going to use my turn to just flame you because look at these ugly cards, bro. Half monster, half spell. If you don't get your suds looking ass out of here, bro, this half green. Ugh. And I actually like the Performa Pals, by the way. Let me go ahead and say that on the record. I think the Performa Pals are like a really cool idea, like the circus guys. And this monster look cool. Damn, see, that's a Performa Pal. <sighs> Damn shame they got that half green tint to them. Okay, there's the Appaloosa, so... Oh, the 3200 Appaloosa! <gasps> it's not over yet. I still believe that actually it's totally over. What the hell does this do? Okay, so that... That completely blows me out of the water. Thankfully, we do draw Imperm, but I don't think it matters. I think we're going to get our first negate out, though. So we're going to get bodied probably by... I mean, they get, we can get Vortex Dragoned here as well. <clears throat> Shuffle one face up Pendulum Monster. Oh, God. Are we going to get bodied twice? Okay, so that's just once per turn. I mean, yikes, guys. Like, this is this is an unplayable situation, I think. Well, let's see if they take maybe a little bait on Flame Swords. We get O'Gear in the graveyard and bring out... Oh, you let me get the Flame Swordsman? You let me cook with Flame Swordsman? Hold up, why are you not playing the game? Oh, a monster effect only? I'm dumb as hell. Wait a minute, let me cook. I'm actually so stupid. Let me see if there's a way I can get over this thing without using any monster effects. Ah, oh, but does this count as a... Ah, uh, I don't want to use its effect though, right? All right, let's see if I can bait out any of this with O'Gear. Okay, all right, we've got 800. If I knew math, I would know how many of these I have to bait out. But actually, wait, that lowers you to 2400. You can only really take one more. So now we got Fire Flint Lady. We can use Fire Flint Lady to special summon out here. But does this get negated? Oh, big mistake, buddy boy. Big mistake, amigo. Big mistake. Because now what's stopping me from beating over your head, right? What's stopping me? Negate any card effects activated in this card column. All right, well, this is going to be an interesting duel now. I forgot I had Flame Swords Realm. I could have just killed this thing so much earlier. Oh, what in the actual what? I didn't read this. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I am so dumb. I am so stupid. It's a good thing I didn't even need that Flame Swordsman technically. Oh, I'm so dumb. I did not even read that. I didn't know. I didn't know. All right, Flame Swordsman in the graveyard. All right, we can we can still win this, guys. We just gotta we just gotta turn it up a little bit, okay? We made we made some stupid plays. All right, we made some stupid mistakes. All right, Museum Two. Gotta love Museum Two. Gotta be my favorite card after Museum One. Salamandra Fusion. I can't even use this anymore. I mean, actually, yes, I can. Let me get Salamandra Fusion. Yeah, le yes, I can. All right, Salamandra. Go look at the princess. Princess, say no. Okay, card to send to the graveyard. Oh, we can actually send... We can send Gear Freed so early. I technically already used O Gear Effect. Oh, I'm stupid. I did a stupid. I did a very bad. I shouldn't have used O Gear Effect so early. I'm dumb though. I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. Maybe I can get something with Joyous here. Maybe I can get something with Joyous here. Do I want to get Joyous or do I just want to get Gear Freed to, for a little bit of safety? Because I already used my normal summon. All right, we're getting Gear Freed. I'm going off the cuff, dude. I have blown this turn so horribly, so dramatically. Dramatically, so, so, so badly, but I still believe in the heart of the cards. This is, this is, this is bad. Oh, I put it in the cool 
<laughs> Why did I put it in this stupid column? Oh my god. Spare me my own stupidity, dude. I... <laughs> I literally read that. I can't even make the excuse that I didn't even know it. Okay, so we, we we have to just wait for Vortex effect and then Gear Freed effect. We cannot do anything until then. No, you're not baiting me. No, no, you're not baiting me. No baits. No baits. God, it, there's so many turns. There's so many things that if I had understood them, I feel like we could have won on that turn. There is so many things that we could have done. Oh, that is like the most frustrating duel of all time, dude. That was so stupid. Still learning the deck. All right, still learning the deck. I just know the one combo route. I know what we want to see. It's when we go off the rails that my, my flaws start showing immensely. And when I start reading. And when they play pendulums. Oh, brother. Oh, brother, they got the whole goddamn gang out here today, folks. Fusion summon one monster. God, I can't. I can't do anything. Gear Freed's walled off. If I if I react before Vortex Dragon, I'm cooked. Starving Venomy Dragon? Replace its effect with this. Oh, no. I still, I mean, I still can't. And we draw. I should have equipped Salamandra to Gear Freed. Ah, oh, the stupidity. Oh, wait, no, we're fine. <laughs> oh, the sword's realm. Oh, even I'm dumb. Even I forgot that works on my opponent's third. <laughs> what? Oh, you what? You're a gear free too. You're a gear free too. Oh, because you literally are a gear free. Oh my god. There was no winning. There was no win. Oh my god. Gear free is the strongest monster of all time. I'm getting beaten by gear free. Oh my god. I'm so. St <sighs> I can't believe we're alive purely because Roland's at... Who even is this guy, bro? Roland is literally just like a... He's just a pivot monster. Oh, God. It's all over the human... Salamander with chain, though. All right. Before anybody does anything, I'm getting this stupid Venom Dragon off the board. Let me guess. Oh, no. I forgot about the stupid... Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's over. It's so over, dude. Thankfully, he fell for the oldest bait in the book. <laughs> you genuinely believe that I wanted to use Fire Flint Lady. Ooh, I was baiting you to use my Ogier. Ogier comes out. Ogier. Ah, first I have to pay 1200 It's getting very expensive to be alive right now. The second effect of Noble Arms Museum will allow me to move Ogier into attack mode. Ah, Ogier hits attack mode. Ogier allows me to throw something into the graveyard and get negated because I'm still in this column as I'm a dumb idiot that doesn't know how to play the game. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, there's more. All Mace, remember, please remember, don't do anything in this column. Don't do anything in this column. Don't do anything in this column. Please stay away from the column. Hands and feet inside the column at all times. Oh, it's Emperor Charles, baby. It's Emperor Charles. Hold on to your hat, folks, because this might get spicy here in a second. Oh, Gear Freed, it's good to have you back, buddy. Low key, though, can he just steal my guy again? He can. Um, But what if we destroy him? Okay, rolling a equips to Charlemagne. Charlemagne gets to destroy something. Yes, that stupid card is gone and is going to be resummoned because of pendulums. Ah! Just, just somebody tell me why pendulums exist. <laughs> I'm such a hater, dude. I'm such a hater. Yes, Charles the Goat. Ah oh, man. Ah oh, man. Salamandra fusion for the protection. Okay. So he can still just pendulum this out right away again, right? That is so dumb. That is so stupid. Okay, but we have a little more going for us this time. I can I can just do this. All right, so we're going to Salamandra with Chain, equipped to... Actually, if I do this, this is the, this is the correct play. Salamandra with Chain on Charles the Great. You have to activate now. You have to do it. It's not even a question. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> yes! I'm the greatest duelist of all time. You're dead. What are you going to do now? The duel's over. You're dead. Bye-bye. That's gone. Salamandra with chain. Change the battle position of a monster. I'll go with yes. And then I think I'll just do... I don't know if any of these really truthfully matter. Does this negate his effect? I mean, he just summoned it, so... And then because I got an Equips card, I can destroy a card on the field and I'm going to destroy your stupid pendulum. Yes! Yes! Am I the greatest player of all time? I think I am. And that's a spell card, so I'm going to negate that shit. God, I hate you. God, I hate you. Do you know that? Woohoo! Yeah, baby! Yeah, that's what I've been waiting for. Now, this is a duel. What are you doing? 
beyond the pendulum again. Who are you, dog? Just stop. How many plays can you make? What happened? Oh, because I negated that for the turn. No, isn't it negated, though? Oh, yes! 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 You must be some kind of stupid idiot. Parentheses, I didn't know what happened either. Woo! Yeah, baby! Yes, dude! Salamandra! Equip a card, why not, dude? I'm on top of the world right now. I, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. Give me that draw. Ooh, fighting flame sword. God, I'm good. Damn, I'm actually low key filled up on resources right now. We will not activate flame sword realm this time. Probably should have equipped with uh, Charlemagne. Damn, wait, I loaded myself up on resources. Am I the dumbest guy of all time? I had to get rid of some of these. I feel like I'm still in a comfortable spot for the duel. Don't get me wrong. We can still get Performa Pal monkey, monkey board out of here because he needs to activate the spell effect. Nope, no, I'm not letting that slide, dog. In no way am I letting that slide. Ever in your life am I letting that slide ever again. You're trash. And I'm gonna get to draw one, by the way. I just want you to know that. I just want you to know that you had your chance to win this duel, but the duel's over now. Cross out designator, just in case. You're done. Yeah, I, I could tell the connections. Gosh, what a duel, dude. Damn, this deck is so fun. Had a maneuver there a little bit, made a lot of misplays, but guess what? At the end of the day, the better duelist is gonna come out on top nine times out of 10. Nine times out of 10. Get him out of here! Playing pendulums in 2024. Get him out of here! Yeah, dude, that was a great duel. Holy. I'm gonna end it there, actually. That was just too good not to make that the finale. Holy. If you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel on this channel, definitely let me know. I definitely want to. In fact, I might make another video on this exact deck just because it's that much fun. But leave a like, subscribe, check out the other videos on your screen right now. I've been Dada Doya. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.